on guys, a vaping rhino over here coming right back at you. Today I have a little uh, kit that I picked up for the um, Black Friday. And uh, it was at a really good price, so I couldn't beat it. And, you know, I've been wanting uh, this for a while right now. And it's the Asmodes Lustro. Okay? And the kit came with the C4 RDA. Okay? Now, normally these were retailing uh, uh, for the longest time at 80 bucks, And then they did not come down in price at all. And usually, you know, after a certain while they come down in price. But these didn't. So I picked up both of these on the Black Friday sale for, I think it was like $54.99 or something like that. So I just jumped on it. Uh, and it is a 200 watt mod and this has got a really cool uh, uh, colorful display and it does hand gestures in motion whatever blah 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 but I'll show you all of that once we get down okay and then the C4 this is a single coil uh, RDA pretty nice built uh, it's got these uh, side air flows that go right uh, on the side of the coil so I'll show you that as well as when we go down okay so I'll see you guys when we're on the map All right, guys, so here it is, Asmodus Lustro, or Lustro, however you guys want to pronounce it. Side of the box says Asmodus, uh, uh, it says uh, Lustro 200 watts, Asmodus logo right there, 21 plus, uh, adults use Sony, Asmodus. On the back, it's got your scratch and check, your security code, UPC symbol, and on the back, in very fine print, it gives you a little bit of the specific technical specifications. Uh, Lustro 200 watt TC, couple of uh, warning symbols right there. Some more warning over here. Big Osmo Osmodis uh, logo right over here, and it's got some information about the company. Okay, so without any further ado, this comes out of a box. And it's just a simple box, you know. It's got some some of that spongy foamy thing with a see-through window. You kind of pull this ribbon up or not? I guess not. Yeah, your uh. Lustro comes out okay and uh, it's got that rubberized uh, texture feeling you know it's uh, feels kind of medium weight I want to say it's too light but it you know it's not as light as it would like the Tesla um, WYE is I mean I know that's smaller but even the the 200 watt one it weighs just about the same I mean this thing is like feather light so this uh, it supposedly has like that uh, 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 zinc oxide um, body, but as you take it apart, you can tell this door is metal, but the body does not feel metal, you know? I mean, um, maybe just the outside shell, but the inside is, a, a, I guess it's a, an ABS uh, kind of durable plastic battery connectors you got the both negative sides are spring loaded the positive side are still okay and uh let's see you got your little ribbon everything is uh pretty well marked uh it, and this is the screen and it is a touch screen and it does have some kind of led lights as well All right so we'll get into that very shortly so as far as the RDA goes, that came with this kit. It's got a little tra uh, scratch and check right there. This is the C4. It is in the black edition. It's got this just little plastic tube. Little Osmodus logo right there. Little information on the back of your contents. Okay, and I can just put that right there. All right. So without any further ado, let's take it out. You got a couple of Allen key wrenches. Uh, you got a big one and a small one. So you got this uh, RDA. It's just a little rubber padding that's right there around the insole too. And you got this little round. Feel like one of those origamis when you're cutting out those napkins and you uh, make those little origamis. And it just gives you a little bit of uh, information on the RDA. Okay. Here's your second wrench. All right. Let's see. 
Wow, that is a very nice uh, drip tip. Actually, I'm really, really uh, surprised. That is a super, super nice drip tip. Really wide, too. That's, uh, you know, compared here, let me just show you another drip tip right over here. Side by side, I mean, look how much more wider that is. That is uh, pretty wide. Wow. You're going to need a big mouth for that. But it's really, really nice. Very nice. All right. Okay, and as far as, uh, let's see, nothing else in there. The baggie. Let's see what the baggie has. The baggie's going to have a couple of spare O-rings. It's got two baggies, a couple of spare O-rings, some grub screw, and I believe that is a squonk pin right there. Okay, and the other baggie, you're going to get these uh, two uh, flat coils. Let's see if it says anything on here. It's a triple fused 0.2 ohms each, 26 gauge by 3, and a 38 gauge wrap on the outside. So, it's a triple core, triple core 28, 26 gauge with a 38 gauge on the outside. Looks like some really nice coils, I got to say. All right, right there. Okay, so for the uh, RDA itself, let's put on a little jig over here. You can manage it a little bit better. Okay, so you're going to have a standard black uh, Delrin drip tip right here. Wow, that is hard to get off. All right, sorry. Wow, that was on there. Whew, it is a virgin. Okay, uh, standard 810 drip tip, and that's how it would look with this one on there. Whoo! That's big, even in the mouth. That is one big fucking drip tip. Let me, let me tell you. Holy crap. Anyways, let's take that off. Let's remove the sleeve. On the outside, you can see you have your ports that are just cut out of the sleeve. And obviously, as you turn them, you could control. You can actually even see the RDA right through that. All right. So you can just control the amount of airflow that you want. So it stops right there. And it stops right there. Okay. So you can open it, you know, and just have the first three, the first six, or the full nine. Okay. And whatever happens on this side is going to happen on that side as well. Okay. It's a little stiff because it is brand new. Okay. It's got this repeating uh, uh, green O rings right here. Okay. The whole deck, it is this gold color. I don't know if it's actual brass. It feels pretty solid. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna uh, do that until I do any kind of further investigation on this. I don't know if it's either some kind of a anodized metal or if it's actual brass, or if it's uh, dipped or coated in gold and it's stainless steel. Don't know. Feels really nice though. Pretty clean, uh, pretty clean uh, uh, deck right over here. Kind of going on, you know, you got the side mounts just like uh, many of the single coil RDAs, you know, like uh, your Wasp Nano and um, Bellerophon and, uh, you know, your Hadley and all of that. Kind of just all that, you know. It has these little indentations on here on either side and that is to uh, align your coil straight down in the middle. So you're going to see that really quick. Let me just bring that a little bit up closer to you so you can see a little bit more detailed. So these are the grooves that I was telling you about. It's got this little notch right here and one on each end and your rod is going to lay right in there. This way you can get that coiled nice and centered. The posts are going to be on each side right over here. Screws right from the top. It is an Allen key that was also provided. All right, so this is going to be one of those coils that are going to be obviously uh, in a butterfly fashion where the legs are sticking straight out rather than up and down. Okay, here is your peak insulator right over here, and that is going to separate your positive with your negative, with your negative being the deck. And here's your uh, positive part that is connected right down into the middle. Excuse me, sorry about that. Your positive uh, lead is going to be uh, separated by this peak insulator. And that is connected right down to your 510 connector on the bottom. Okay. Now that uh, pin will move out from the bottom. But there is a little tiny holes. I don't know if you can actually see that on camera. Let me see if I can just kind of zoom that in for you guys. Okay. You can see these holes right there. There's one on one side. And then there's the one on that side. 
this is a solid top right over here. So when the squonker goes in, the, whole, the, the juice is going to pour out the side. As you can see right there, there's a little channel right there, and there's a little channel right there. All right, let me just zoom out a little bit. Your airflow is stable by these uh, pre-drilled, uh, what seems to be a, probably a 1.2 millimeter holes. There's nine of them, and it goes right through the block right there. Uh, on both sides it's even so your airflow is going to be shooting straight at that coil and then they are kind of angled because here it is you can see this is right here so this is going to where the coil is going to sit like that and the the airflow if you could see these little slant right over here the airflow is going to travel in this direction so it kind of travels on the side okay and that is a good thing because if the coil is sitting there straight like that and the airflow is traveling on its side, it's going to get it from the one end of the coil and blow it down the other end. And this came from the design of the Narca and the Narda. Okay. <clears throat> so, continuing on, let's unscrew this from this little uh, post right over here. And on the bottom of the deck, you do have a protruding 510 pin, which is always great. You can put this on a single mech mod. It's fantastic. All right. Very clean deck. Very nice uh, uh, threads. Really super fine. Okay. You want to have a little bit of your certificate warning. You have the name of, uh, of the RDA, which is the C4. And the Osmotis on top. Very clean. Nothing much going on over here. Just pretty straight to the point. Kind of liking this. All right. But... All in all, we have to see how this thing performs once we bring it up uh, back up on top. So, with that said, let's go back to the to the lustro. So, with the lustro, I'm going to zoom this out so you can see this a little bit better. The lustro is a dual uh, 18650, which we're going to be putting some batteries in as soon as I find them. Okay, so... You have your first one, it tells you, it says push up, and you have your negative, so you push the battery up in that fashion. Okay, now let's just put this ribbon down on the bottom so we can do that. You don't have to. I mean, they come out. There's enough grip on the side and that they do come out. Okay, again, negative side bottom. Let's put the ribbon over, flap it so we can get that battery out. Okay, and push down on the bottom. Okay, so all you're going to be left with is this little ribbon that we're going to flap over. And the lid, it doesn't matter which side it goes. It can go this way or this way goes it's flat on one side and on this side there is an ever so light bump and uh, i'm going to only assume that that is just due to the the two different types of material doesn't bother me one bit but i just have to put it out there and, and uh, let you guys know so upon putting the batteries in there i'm going to click it five times and it's going to ask you this, married batteries without damage only, okay? So, and you're going to have to answer that, okay? And if you answer yes, you make sure that your batteries are a marriage, uh, a couple of batteries that you use the same all the time. You discharge them the same and charge them the same. I do that with all. That is a good reason why to keep your cases. When you discharge them out, you charge them together and you put them right back in the same case. This is a good practice to do because that would also lengthen the lifespan of your batteries. So in that case, we're going to press yes. Yes, this is a touch screen. Beautiful little logo going on there. And this is your full screen right over here. Okay, now this does a, uh, a different types of lock and unlock screen. And you can do this all in your settings. And all you would have to do is you, you swipe down. That would unlock it. And as you can see, that lock right there, it just unlocked. Let me just see if I can zoom this in a little bit better. Right there. Okay. And now it's locked again. So now you really can't do nothing by touching the screen. Okay. Okay. So in order to uh, unlock it again, you would just uh, hit the power button once. Uh, let me just get this so I can get you the full view. But I just want you to see. And you're going to see on the bottom that the lock pad is locked. So in order to unlock that, you would swipe down. Okay. Okay, so you'd swipe down and uh, you would unlock it. Okay. Now at this point, you can either 
you do the hand curve, you go right over it and see if you swipe it this way, the other way, the other way, the other way, okay. and so on and so forth. Okay, then you're also gonna have your little hand gesture, uh, which tells you that the hand gesture is on, and that is the only reason why. So, um, and, and lock that again. Okay, so, and now it's soft, and you, do, you see the soft and the normal is going, so if you go up and down, you can change that. So it's on soft mode, normal mode, soft mode, and high mode. Okay, so if I just swipe my finger over, I'm not touching the screen. This is just a hand gesture mode. Okay, and you can change the, 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 the settings for your hit. Hard, normal, and soft. All right, so let's leave it on normal. And then... To select your wattage, you would just tap your uh, on your wattage, and you can go up and down as you wish. And this does go all the way up to 200. It is fairly slow. Okay, uh, right there. All right, that's not that bad actually. Okay, yeah, there must have been an upgrade that uh, really helped this. So let's just bring that down at least to normal. In case we throw an atomizer on there and we need to do some vaping and we don't want to destroy anything. Okay, go back to over here. You have your TFR settings. You're going to, um, and you're going to also change this little odometer if you just press on it. Okay, and it gives you like some kind of a, let's see, there's your, uh, let's see, hold on one second. Let me see if I can get, ah, okay. So, it's going to give you, your readings, all right, I'm just trying to, if I stop talking is because I'm trying to get this clear. All right, so here it is. It's uh, uh, th This, uh, it appears to me to be like your uh, Fahrenheit, your temperature as you go. Well, obviously, we don't have an atomizer in there. You can touch it again and change it. Oh, it's locked. Let's unlock it, okay. So you could change it. And then you can put on your seconds. You can change it in, in your uh, uh, Fahrenheit uh, temperatures, okay? That's in TFR. So, in power mode, you can do the same thing. So, you have your, uh, what this would be your watts, and that would be in the 10 uh, increment. Uh, as you can see, it says 10 watts times 10, all right? Right there, you see that? And then you can just hit that clock. All right, let me unlock it. Okay, so you can hit that clock and it gives you the seconds on this one or the times 10 in the wattage mode. So it's gonna basically do the same thing for each individual settings. You're gonna temperature control, your curve is the same thing. I'm gonna just swipe my hand and there's your temperature control and it's gonna give you your same thing, okay? Now if you swap from the, let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see this actually happening. So if you swipe from the bottom up, you're going to get these two symbols right over here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Then this is going to be your hand gesture. You can just cl uh, click on the hand gesture and you can select it to be on, on or off. Okay. And just hit it once to go back. Again, slide from the bottom up and then you're going to have your flashlight. And it's a cool thing. This, If you didn't know about this, you hit your that button. Okay. And you're going to get this flashlight and you're going to hit it once and it turns your flashlight on. If you hit it twice, it turns both light on. So you have a low and high possibility of a, a LED flashlight right over here. Okay? If you hit it again, it both goes off. Right? Hit your power button, set you back to where you started from. Uh, another feature that this also has, this is in temperature control and it reads on the bottom when it is in the other temperature control. Also, I do want to mention, let me just get this going. On the bottom, it's going to say, it's going to read your NICAT and by that, you would change it to all stainless steel, so on and so forth. You guys know the routine. 
All right. So by the click of three button, one, two, three, one, two, three, and it'll lock your whole system. One, two, three, one, two, three, and it'll unlock your system. Okay. Now five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. It will bring you into the menu. So you can change your ohms up and down. This is like to fix your, adjust your joules. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There's your power button. You could just press and hold. Okay. And this also uses the swipe uh, with the hand gesture mode. This is a, 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 your counter. Okay. Swipe it again. This is your sweep for your counter puffs. You can just zero it out. I happen to zero it. I had it at 250 something uh, while I was testing this, but I just wanted to set it to zero to show you guys. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five. Excuse me. All right. There's your sweep to sweep. And this is your, I, I don't know what this is yet. I, I, I couldn't figure it out. And it says real fun, real and fun. I don't know what that is yet. Okay. Then you have your upgrade. And over here is where you would attach your uh, USB-C connector right over here that I actually didn't talk about and I, I do apologize. So this comes within the USB-C connector type. Okay, so this is very good and I wish all companies would start doing this, you know, because you can put this either way. You don't have to put it a certain way. But the problem is that we're so, uh, ha have thousands and thousands of those regular uh, micro USBs laying around that now this one becomes obsolete in the in the in, in the way of that this is the only one I have in my house where I have hundreds of the other ones so I have to make sure that I don't lose this or actually buy a few more to keep them around okay system locked one two three system unlocked one two three four five let's get back into the menu swipe swipe we did the sweep we did that little dropper thing I don't know what that that's your upgrade uh, this is going to be your version types. It tells you what this is. And uh, right now we're in a version 2.3. Click it once to go back. Let's see. Now, and this it tells you whether to go fast, slow, or medium. And that is going to be your, your swiping uh, abilities. You get to this dial right over here. And this is going to be whether you're going to want your uh, LED light on the side. Okay, see, this gets a little uh, uh, annoying after a while. Okay, so this is going to be your LED light. You will click that on, and you're going to, whether you want to shut this light on or off. So we're going to leave it on. Click the fire button to uh, uh, record that command. Okay, and this is going to be whether you're going to be able to choose the. I'm assuming the LED color because it gives you green, red, and blue. Green, red, and blue. Okay. So we're going to choose that, and this is your lock and unlock. No, nope, the other way. Let's continue on. Uh, this is your, you can set your second timer before it times out, your puff seconds, if you want it up to 10 seconds. So let's put that on 8. Okay, hit the uh, power button. And also this is your ohms, and you can adjust your ohm readings over here as far as your joules go. All right, so there it is. So now it lights up in blue. Okay, so... We're going to go back in there. It's not that one. I think it's this one right over here. So we do it in green. Uh, let's try the red. And now it lights up red. Okay. And also your button lights up red too. It's pretty cool too. This button is actually really nice the way it lights up. It looks so awesome uh, in, uh, in person. Let's unlock that. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go back. Let's see. Yeah, and then let's try the green. Hit that. to, um, And then there it goes. Right there. And the green coordinator button lights up also. All right. Let's go back to blue 
and the blue lights up like that as well anyways so basically this is it the rest you know your your wattage goes up and down um you have a uh, uh you can shut these hand gestures off by swiping down up on the top or turn on your flashlight right there like i showed you you click once uh, twice or off once twice off all right when you want to and you want to come out of that just click the temperature uh, the power button the fire button excuse me and you're back into temperature mode so let's uh, unlock that and you can also change this on like instead of the swipe you could do it where you can tap it three times the screen and it unlocks okay so let's go back to your curve settings uh, excuse me to power settings It gets a little finicky right over there. It's at the power, and uh, and basically that's it, guys. Otherwise, it's very well constructed, very neat, very. Neat. Once you have it set, this is not gonna move. You see, once it locks, it doesn't not gonna. You know, I mean, I unlocked it while I I swiped it. So you hit that fire button and it locks automatically. So your screen doesn't really move anymore. Nothing is moving. You can't really change anything on there. So. Without any further ado, let's take this bad boy back up to the top and we'll take a vape on it, okay? But first, I'm going to throw a quick build right in here for you guys. Uh, this is a simple single coil build, so it's not going to be anything great. I'll have it all ready for you when I go back on top and we'll try this Lustro with the C4 RDA. Alright guys, so we're back on top. Uh, the Lustro, the C4 RDA, Asmodis. What do we got? Well, guys... We got a really fucking nice mod. I like this mod. I like the weight of it. Once the batteries are in it, it just feels like a little fucking block of fucking gold. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? It just feels good. That's all I can say. Uh, the RDA, this is a, I, I just got it. I, I've never vaped on it. This will be the first time with you guys. And I'll give you my honest opinion. You know me. I don't fucking beat around the bushes. I don't fucking sugarcoat shit. My name ain't fucking Willy Wonka. You know what I'm trying to say? So, it is what it is. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I had this fucking ginormous fucking drip tip on there. This is, I love this drip tip. It's such a beautiful color. But I feel like, I got to like, I don't know, man. It just, it just feels big in your mouth, you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, maybe this is better for the ladies. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. But for now, we're going to take this fucking guy off. All right? We're going to put the little fucking black guy in there. Click. And there we go. Nice. Blacky, blacky. That's it. All right. So, I even put the blue light on to match the fucking drip there. But it was just a little too fucking big. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's a little too fucking big. Do I got another one over here? I got, where the fuck is it? I got my Starry Nights. Let me see if my fucking Starry Nights will fit on here. Oh, yeah. There we go. You see? Beautiful, nice and smooth, I gotta say. Excellent fucking flavor. This is not a bad RDA. It's really not. I don't know why we haven't heard much more about this RDA. I'll be honest with you, I don't know. It's 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 really not that bad. It really isn't that bad. Well, let's just pick up the watts. We had it on 40 watts. Let's just pick it up. Anyway, 0.22. Let's do it on 50 watts. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, guys. It's a nice little fucking kit. I'm really happy that I picked this up. I don't regret it doing it. Um, the deal was good. and uh, um, I, You know, I'm happy that I've been wanting to get one. But, you know, being that I buy so much stuff, you know, and, and most of it, I constantly keep giving it away. I just didn't want to be throwing my money. But this was a very good deal. It was like, I think, 50, $55 or $54.99, whatever the fuck it was on the back. And it came as the kit. So I says, you know what? I, I get to have the, 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 the mod that I've been wanting. And I get to try out this RDA. 
So, kind of kill two birds with one stone over here, but you know, shit happens. You know what I'm saying? It's a good thing. And, and uh, you guys get to learn something else too. There you go. Lustro. Osmodus. C4. Osmodus. Dominic. Vape and Rhino. Subscribe, guys. Do me a favor. Help me grow. You know what I'm saying? And until then, as always, vape to live and live to vape. I'll catch you on my next review.